Hi guys, today we will be talking about strange things in the USA. First of all, I will ask you to give me a like if you like this video and write some comments if you have some questions and don't forget to press the button subscribe. I'll really appreciate that. And you can click the bell so you're gonna get notified as just I'm uploading new video to my channel. So the first thing which comes to my mind is that that people over apologizing. So basically when you're in the supermarket and the person is like one meter away from you, so if he or she wants to pass next to you, he will say, oh, excuse me. And I'm like, why do you say excuse me if you even didn't hit me, you didn't uh, do anything to me? In my country, you know, usually people say excuse me only if they passed next to you and they just hit you somehow so they're just like oh i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm apologizing the second thing no duvet cover so basically how it works here people put the mattresses then they put bed sheets which are fitted to the mattress right and then they put another bed sheet another bed sheet <laughs> and the back cover but usually americans they don't use that much duvet cover as we do we use it all the time even my sister asked me the other day she's like is it true that people in the usa don't use the back cover i said yeah and you know when i was trying to buy it online they don't have it <laughs> literally they don't have it <laughs> my bed sheet looks different so i have only one bed sheet which i brought from ukraine and i have duvet cover and that duvet cover has zipper so basically you put duvet inside <laughs> that cover small talks you know people on the street they see you and they say hi how are you i also started to do that but still it's a little bit awkward because in my country if the person asks you hi how are you you're supposed to reply and you have to tell him or her how you feel how is your life etc but here it's just like ah oh, it's just to put a mark as if the person said hello and i'm like what why do you ask that in my country if <laughs> you ask hi how are you and you don't know the person people will think that you might be weird but it only relates to people who live in the same country but if you are a foreigner and you are flying to ukraine so people will understand that they will be like okay he is a foreigner he wants to know how is my stuff going on in my life <laughs> you can return here absolutely everything you know, I was buying a perfume for my friend and uh, they told me that she can return it unless there will be 70% of the liquid in the bottle. I was like, are you serious? And I was like, so if it's going to be 90% or 80%, you're still going to accept it? And she's like, yeah, we're going to accept it. I'm like, so you can basically buy one bottle of perfume just use it for one week and after that you just return it to the shop and you say oh i don't like it so for me it was a little bit weird because you know like some people will take an advantage of it if you get drunk here in the usa you can call police and you can ask them to drop you back home i didn't know that but one of my friends told me, so I confirmed that information with my boyfriend because he is a criminal lawyer, he knows the laws, so he told me, yeah, this is absolutely normal. I was like, and they're not gonna charge you? He was like, no, but guys, don't take advantage of it. If you need a criminal attorney, his contacts will be in the description box. Here in the USA, people have service dogs or sometimes they call them emotional dogs what does it mean so service dog it is a dog which can bring you home if you're blind or deaf i didn't know that and there are emotional dogs so basically if you suffer anxiety or ptsd or any kind of stress disorder 
so you can have a dog and you can go everywhere with that dog you just get some paper some card from the doctor that it is a service dog or emotional dog and you are allowed to get with that dog anywhere one of our friends uh, has uh, this uh, um, card so she can basically even go to the supermarket or any other place uh, which you just can think where <laughs> would not be allowed for the dogs most of the drinks in the restaurant served cold for me it's still not understandable why do you serve something cold maybe the person will get sick tonsillitis i believe they call it but uh, whenever we go to the restaurant we always ask can you please bring water without ice but sometimes also in starbucks when you buy coffee they give you cold coffee and i'm like what i didn't ask for cold coffee they were like oh i'm sorry i thought that you want cold coffee i'm like no i'm european <laughs> we never drink coffee cold <laughs> no actually last summer i tried it two times just i don't know something was in my head <laughs> but usually coffee and tea it is a hot drink extra charge for taxes still when I buy something online and when I go to check out and they just like taxes because sometimes so when you look on the website you're just like oh this is so cheap but when you start to do the checkout when you are ready to pay and they add 10 percent on top and you're just like what <laughs> i don't know why they do that here maybe in uk they do the same but all over the world as far as i know they don't put taxes on top of the check fireworks are not allowed in illinois so now you can hear the sound actually by the law local ordinance it's not allowed maybe those people who do that they have permission but usually it's not allowed by the law huge portions of food everywhere as just you go to any restaurant expect that the portion will be like this i'm not joking so that's why me and my boyfriend we always order only one portion and small salads you know so but we always check how big is the portion because we know that <laughs> free refills so when you go to the restaurant and there is coffee refill so basically what they do you go to a breakfast place and you order coffee as just you finish your cup of coffee they're gonna refill it sometimes they do that with coca-cola with uh, sprite etc but uh, it was weird for me for me still i don't do it i never ask for a refill because i didn't used to such things unless they say oh you are entitled to refill <laughs> your cup of coffee <laughs> and then i say yeah of course coffee coffee more coffee <laughs> free public toilets everywhere so this is really nice because in my country you will not find any public toilet free of charge <laughs> you have to pay and it's not like you know just some coins it's almost the same amount as uh, the fare in a public transportation guys if you like this type of videos don't forget to give me likes if you have some questions, you can write them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell. You're going to get notified as I'm uploading new video on my channel. See you soon. Bye bye.